Wow, good turnout today. Hello. I wish I had more news to share. Oh. Um, so, uh, as you all know, we shipped Animesh. Um, uh, hadn't noticed. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, then, then you're all caught up now. Um, <laughs> uh, there are not new, yeah, there, there's no, no particular new news in, in the rest of things. That is, we have, we have a bakes on mesh update in the QA pipeline. We have a bug splat viewer update in the QA pipeline. Um, we have, uh, main spot aid catch is uh, coming together. Um, it's in pretty good shape, actually. Um, and then the other project viewers that have been that have been hunting around out there. Probably bakes on mesh will go to release candidate status quite soon. Going to have one more project viewer update. Hopefully, that will get lots of testing. That sounds like me begging. Then you understood me. Um, Deep is coming, still getting the last few uh, graphics glitches dealt with, uh, although the frequency of those seems to be coming down, which is good. Um, there's one remaining script, OSL script interface that's in development for that now, but that doesn't actually affect the viewer release cycle much. So I would expect that to go to release candidate status fairly soon. Certainly before, I, I, I hope, before Christmas. Uh, yes, yes, the setting setting EAP from LSL is, is what we're working on. There are two interfaces, one that lets you set individual EAP characteristics and another one that lets you just say, here's an environment, do it. Now, of do course, have... that's up. the viewer may or may not actually do anything based on those requests. No way we can ensure that that happens, but um, that is the preference. Do you have anything planned to release before the new year? I hope to get out two viewer releases, which ones Absolutely. they will be. Yeah. Um, one for sure, it would be great if we could do two. Which ones were you hoping for? Um, some combination of bug splat, main spotty catch, and bakes on mesh. That is two of those three. Wow, that's ambitious. It is. Uh, you know, we might not make it. We really only have kind of two. Two weeks, right? Opportunities. Because we want to leave two week gap between promotions. And when is your no release window? Uh, it's going to end up being, let me look at my calendar. Um, it will be the week of the 24th of the, it will be at least, uh, Noon, December 21st through New Year's. Okay. Have you made any progress on that bridge thing? Uh, I got, uh, well, we, we sent some hints to and Serial, I got her response. I have not had a chance to dig into that further. Um, it's definitely true that uh, the way you're doing it is kind of weird. Um, well, I think it's pretty I mean, remarkable that it worked as bridge, well as it did. <laughs> it's a hack because we just don't have the ability to do the things bridge does any other way than to sort of right. hack and, and the way we create bridge is by virtue also a hack right so yeah but it's a particularly it, when you look at it from the simulator side it, it's a kind of a pretty ugly hack um 
so we i'm i want to do two things about that one is i want to figure out what we need to do to make it possible for you to do that in a cleaner way to create the bridge in a cleaner way um it's a, it's a very inefficient hack yes um so for example it would be i think it would be a big improvement to give you a mechanism for loading script that doesn't end up compiling it twice. That would um, be beautiful. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it's not like we're happy about it. You know, it's just yeah, yeah. I understand. Do it. Um, so we'll we'll try to we'll try to figure that out. Um, and and Sarah had one suggestion along that line. Um, I haven't had a chance to look at the back end yet to figure out how viable that is. If if that turns out not to be the right thing, we can figure out something else. Um, the other thing I've done is, uh, and we sort of started this once before, but never really followed through on it, and I'm going to try and follow through on it, uh, is I want to go through everything that the that bridge nice, is doing and figure out, discussion. Uh -huh. yeah, figure out ways <laughs> for us to give you messages you can send or capabilities you can invoke that will let you do most of the same things. Um, that would be, you know, obviously without, hugely welcome. Without any LSL, right? Um, right, exactly. The yeah. Um, so, well, right. The certainly the script info. Um, that's that's a kind of a no brainer. It's really easy. Yeah. Easy. Um, the others are are maybe a little bit more difficult, but we we can we can work on that. Um, so, I've asked Veer to sort of look at that whole catalog and figure out what, what we can do about the whole thing. And we'll try to get as many of them as possible. I, uh, um, I very much appreciate you being open to helping us with that issue in particular. I know your views on bridge uh, historically have not been very favorable. So I was surprised well, I, I, that you, you know, were helping us with this uh, problem. You guys, you guys have an enormous number of users and adding that many scripts to every region yeah, that has anybody in it is, uh -huh. you know, is, is it's a, terrible. It is, it is one more in the many, 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 many little performance problems that we have that add up to big performance problems. And Bridge has been, uh, honestly, a nightmare for us since day one, um, you know, because it, it is a bit of a hack. So it'd be really nice to not have to use Bridge. But the functionality has got to be there one way or another because people use it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do about that, and um, we'll we'll probably have things to say about that um, when we start doing these meetings again next year. Um, and about that, before I forget, um, I think let me bring up my calendar. I think we are going to end up not having any. TPV meetings in December. Um, okay. Uh, just before we get off the bridge, um, I, I don't know what kind of progress you guys are making on the server end as far as a workaround to the problem that we're having. I'm assuming it's not worth waiting for that to get our animation. It's not worth waiting, no. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, me see here yeah uh i'm looking at the fridays in december we we could end up having one on the 21st if that's so i'm going to put that on the wiki page as the next meeting um and that's the, going to be the only opportunity we have in December. So I'm I'm going to be traveling for the seventh, uh, or rather, yeah. So so we'll do we'll do one third party viewer meeting on the twenty first, and that'll be it for next month. In regard to the. Um our NMesh uh, release. Um, 
I'm not sure that you're aware. I think I'd mentioned to you, but we're we've backed out some of your changes for the complexity calculations. Uh, I think it would be better if you picked up the patch he's making to them. Well, we did. He's making. Yeah. I mean, he's he's putting a patch into the next main viewer. That. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you, Beck. All right. Uh, there's probably. Oh, there's, good. Okay, I didn't know that. There's there's probably more we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna do um, about that. Um, but one of the things we're gonna try to try to do is get the whole Arctan project rolling again after New Year's and make real progress on it. Um, well, uh, the idea is we're going out as a public beta on the Animish just because right. uh, obviously you're going to have bug fixes and, and changes to it. Yes. And so once you guys have that done, then we get a full release of Animish. Yeah, the reason I was asking if you had any other viewer releases planned for, you know, before the new year was, are we going to have to merge those in to release them as well? Uh, that would be preferable. Um, I mean... We're going to put out the bug splat release. Um, you know whether you merge that one right away probably won't end up being important. It doesn't have a lot of changes that are not directly related to the. Um, yeah, it should be mostly a no op for you, um, but of course you have you'll want to do it eventually just so that you don't have those merges to do. Um, uh, we think that. We did it in a way that allows you to just throw the right configuration switch at build time, and you get the old stuff. Um, so, um, so that shouldn't be a big deal for you. Um, Bakes on mesh is a few more changes, but they're quite localized. I don't think it should be a big deal for you to merge that if we if we ship that. And the main viewer is, of course, the usual collection of widely distributed small changes. So uh, we'll see what, what you end up with. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't think those will be difficult. So no, it won't be hard uh, I mean, to obviously just trying to plant that's all. Right. Um, right. So um, you know we don't have a a an animesh fix release waiting in the wings, um, but I'm sure that as we get more use, it will, you know, we'll just, we'll develop some that we. Well, want. I'm hoping that when we get it out there, um, the user base in general will find problems and report them, and that way you'll have, right, perhaps some new things to look at. Right. The bigger change uh, will probably be EEP. Um, uh, I I hope to have that in a release candidate build before the before the holidays before before the Christmas break um, I think there's a, a very good chance that that will happen EEP um, before Christmas yeah um, that's okay. that's really that's getting close so I think we'll have that in a release candidate on the other hand I don't think we'll be we won't be ready to promote it 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 won't get promoted oh, okay. until after okay. the new. Year. Okay. Right. But so will likely be before your next Animish batch then. Probably, unless there's something that's so urgent we fold it into the main release, like that uh, cleanup for the complexity recalculations. That'll be in. I, I assume that will get merged into Spotty Catch. Yes. Yes, Nuran. <laughs> uh, yes, the the we'll we'll try to move um, Eep onto the servers um, as as expeditiously as we can. Um, I don't remember where it is right now. Uh, Eep is going to represent a change for us uh, in how we deal with OpenSim. Um, so I was kind of hoping, you know, we could get the Animesh changes before OpenSim. Although it's it's not like OpenSim is ever going to get Animesh, so maybe it won't matter. 
Anyway, I'm just thinking out loud. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you, well, right. It probably is more more breakage with respect to OpenSim. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we've got um, to do some drastic changes there. Um, yeah. Uh, but it, that's that's coming along pretty well. So we still have it's, a few it's good. It's few things good. to few things to tweak. But um, I, I I hope that we'll I, get a release candidate. People can I, play I, with it. I'm particularly impressed that EEP addresses um, because remember you and I have had debates about you know the Winlight thing, and and I think I had said that you know as long as it can fulfill everything that our Winlight stuff does, and it does, and uh, I'm super pleased with that. Yeah, well, you know, I I win and some more, arguments, yes. and I don't, and I don't win others. Uh, so I know the feeling. Um, and you know, Ryder has a tendency to implement things that I said we, we shouldn't do. We love Ryder. We <laughs> love, 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 love Ryder. Uh, yeah. No, I'm I'm extremely pleased with where that project has ended up, and I think we're going to have a we're going to have a great we're going to have a great new thing for people to play with. I mean, it's it's going to be rough beginnings, though. I I anticipate that we will. Uh, see a noticeable increase in median session length simply because it's so much fun to sit there and play with the environment and sort of tweak what the sky looks like and fiddle with the water and you can you can consume you, you can quite easily consume a couple of hours without even noticing that you've done it so uh, it's great um, so uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I'm going to be traveling so, to uh, where Ryder is. Just, I think you just <laughs> confessed, Oz, that you've been spending hours and hours playing with your wind light instead of working. Uh, Pretty sure no. that was recorded too. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have confessed it. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, so it's going to be it's going to be cool. Um, and then we have to figure out what we're doing next. Well, timeline for us, assuming uh, no blockers show up, um, and they'd have to be pretty darn good blockers, uh, I hope to have uh, Animesh out in Firestorm in two weeks. Cool. Be good, to, be good for people to be able to buy their Animesh stuff for Christmas. Yeah. So, uh, I think that's all the news I've got. What what else we got going? Oh, uh, that's about all the news I got. Short meeting with me present? Unheard of. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, Naran, we want to get back oh, to getting yes. the poser going. Except we're not supposed to call it Poser anymore. But, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm adding people to the project, Niran. Try and give you some help on creating the animation files. Um, and we'll... We'll... Uh, We'll get that rolling again. Um, really just reminded me. Actually, I'm not sure if we should bring this up, but should we <laughs> bring this up? Oh, that. Yeah. Well, um, so I, I didn't, I, I hadn't gotten around to actually reading your blog post yet, but. No, I had um, to pull the trigger. But of course, I, I'm more than familiar with the issue. Um, we're. Taking another look at that um, to see whether our opinion has has changed, um, <laughs> with 
as with all things that in any way interact with anything legal, um, I don't even want to be able to make decisions about them. So um, we have we have engaged the people who get paid to make that level of decision and take that level of risk, and then we'll let you know if they change anything. Well, so, I mean, the thing about lawyers is they get paid by the hour, so they're never in a rush to get anything done, really. Oh, no, these are, we're, 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 using, we're using our in-house people, so we, they don't get paid by the hour. They just get paid like everybody else. So, Maybe at they least I hope they don't. To do. No, they have plenty of to do. So, uh, but we're we're taking another look at it to see whether there's something, uh, that, whether whether we can accept the risk of, of putting those codecs back in. Um, yeah, like Beck says, the armchair lawyers they know. Uh, right, and none of their money is on the line. Um, so. Um, I will, you know, I have, I have raised the question, um, if and when I get back a different answer, we'll let you know. It is, a, it is a, on high on their priority list, I hope. I, I, I absolutely do not know. I know what questions I have asked them to think about, and I know what I think the relative urgency of those que of those questions are, but I don't know what other questions they are working on or what their relative uh, priorities are on those. And unfortunately, the the MPEG one is not even the highest priority question I've asked them. But that's not a subject I can go into. Oh boy. Uh, so, but we got you know. But they will get around to it, and and we'll if if we change our mind about what needs to be done, we'll let you know. Um, and it'd be nice if we could put it put it back in. Um, it it wouldn't actually be trivial, but if they tell us it's okay to do, we'll do the work. In fact, I don't. I don't. If <laughs> if uh, if they tell us it's okay, I don't think I could stop the developer to, from doing the work. He'd, he'd go do it anyway. Um, we're more than happy to help with UA, UI layout. Neuron, we'll, we'll uh, grab one of our uh, one of our UI designers. Um, we'll steal somebody from the Sansar team for a little while or something. All right. Um, yeah. Well, it's it's no worse than the build floater. We've we've gotten past these things before. I I, I should say that when when um, when we passed it around for internal review, everybody thought it was a really cool project that we should definitely do. We did get a bunch of people who were not signing up to do the work who said we should do direct manipulation where you are able to just drag the bones directly instead of moving sliders to move the bones. Um, yeah, that's that was what I said. So, uh, so we didn't we didn't do that, um, and we're we're not going to push for that. Um, if somebody wants to figure out how to do that in the longer term. Um, yeah, I mean, y'all insisted that we that we give you all those finger bones. So think about 
you know, think about going in and manipulating each knuckle uh, directly and how far you have to zoom in and out to make that something reasonable. At that point, it begins to look reasonable to have a set of sliders in another window to do that. Right. So um, we're going to. We're going to punt on that level of beautifulness in the interface. Right. Yeah, that makes that makes sense, Elizabeth. But uh, I would rather have the um, have the feature available to people to do in-world creation of even simple animations than um, than wait for it and try to do some much more elaborate and difficult interface that we don't have the foundation for yet. So that's the plan. We're going to do the thing that's relatively easy, get it in people's hands, and see what they can do with it. Why am I afraid to click links from you? <laughs> I'm so afraid of your links. That's pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. Um, so I just finished reading uh, Anara's blog on Linden Realms open sourcing. Oh, I had not read that yet. That. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm on the hook to finish that code review. So I, I can't help but feel like Firestorm is one of the few sort of groups that have embraced using the shared, the, um, shared experience, using the um, experience keys. Is that partially true and perhaps why you're open and sourcing? Oh, no. We've, we've got a lot of people using experience. Really? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, to help them figured out and it, it's pretty straightforward I think but um, I don't know I, I think it should be more widely adopted because it's very very useful yeah well and it's um, as I've said before um, learning learning well, to use it, experiences it, is is something that if you're going to do if you're going to take advantage of any of the more powerful new things we provide in LSL Right. You're going to need an experience because basically that's our framework for how to how to keep things from being abused. On the premium account you, thing, though, yeah. I mean, the experience is mainly used by landowners. If, if they own land, then they probably have a premium account, I would assume. Uh, yeah, mostly, right? Um, anyway, I think that's uh, I think it's a great idea. And you know there are a lot of there there are more things coming that will make it more advantageous to be premium. So uh, of course you'll have more people cheating in Linden Realms. Then apparently you can cheat in Linden Realms with the Firestorm viewer somehow. Uh, I wouldn't no, know. I've, I've had emails. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Oh, the flight assist. No, it was something about pre-jump in the Firestorm. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Huh. I don't know. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm. 
neither an expert on exploiting Firestorm nor on Linden Realms. Uh, so I can't really help with either of those things. I mean, I, I kind of thought that Linden Realms was um, geared towards new users mainly and therefore mm -hmm. unlikely to be running Firestorm or knowing about exploits. Yeah, I don't know. So, I, I mean, I, I haven't put, in all honesty, a lot of concern about that being an exploit. I don't see how changing an animation would make any difference to anything, but okay. And like really says, like I mean, and that's why I made the joke. If you open source, there'll be more cheaters in in uh, Linden Realms. Uh, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't see it really being. A... We see we see Linden Realms primary purpose as being to be a demonstration of what's right. possible in Second Life. Right. So. Uh, we think that open sourcing it is a way of. Uh, I kind of figured it was your showcase to show what can be done with the experience. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a giant working example. Um, so. And also pathfinding. Yeah, I'd like to do some more work on pathfinding. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna talk about pathfinding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd I'd like to make that work better um, yeah well it shouldn't be it should be cool so we'll try to figure out why it isn't as cool as it can be and fix that but it keeps falling just just barely below the line of what I've got resources to work on yeah any well, there's time. not a lot of people using pathfinding I don't think yeah, but is that a cause or an effect? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's an effect of the issues. So I, I don't know. <laughs> is it possible to get premium in a DD? Uh, we had a conversation about that recently. Um, I think that real soon now, if you're premium on Agni, you'll be premium on Aditi. Um, because most of the attributes of your account should should be the same everywhere. But I I don't I, I have no timeline for that. Um, well, any of you who have spent a lot of time trying oh, to work with pathfinding and have any insights on what the problems with it are, um, I would very much appreciate careful write-ups of, of what they are, because then we'll have a target list, a better target list than we have now. Uh, Beck is asking about premium on... Uh... Aditi because she's unable to test premium things because she's not premium. Um, I, I don't know why people keep bringing up the question of lockout on premium. I don't understand why people think that they get locked out if they're premium. Pay your bill. What's the problem? Besides, you get like a long grace period even if you don't pay your bill. Oh, that's not true, actually. Yes, I it got, is true. I got, I got it is true. By, it was actually a um, an error on uh, Linen Lab Accounting side 
Um, and uh, I'm trying to remember what it was now. It was for a uh, my premium parcel, which I completely forgot that I had even. Um, I can't remember what it was, but I, I went to log in the next day and I was locked out like instantly. It, it, and it was a bug. I had to contact Linux support. They fixed it pretty quickly. But um, I was, I missed a meeting as a result. The only time I log in anymore is for meetings. Uh, but yeah, there was no grace period. Well, there should be. Yeah, I, mean, I if, agree. If, if that happens, it's a, it's a bug. And as you say, it, it can be fixed. Um, we're, we're actually in the process of updating and revising the code that decides what you, what you're right, entitled so, to get. So. so, I mean, we're derailing a bit from what we should be talking about here, but uh, since we're on the subject of premium, why don't, why doesn't Linen Lab, I know you can't answer this, but why doesn't Linen Lab, you know, use what pretty much any other provider does, which is just downgrade you until you do pay your bill rather than lock you out? Like I can, um, I, you know, I can see if you're behind on your tier, you know, for a region or uh, something. Because like we that. can't, we can't lock you out of your land, and that's the major benefit. Oh, I see. That's that's pretty much what it amounts to. Uh, I can't speak to what might or might not have been true years ago. Um, I can tell you that we definitely do not do that now. <laughs> definitely. Um, we disable accounts from time to time for reasons you're all agonizingly familiar with. Um, we, we do not, do not do anything to the inventory of those accounts, period. I mean, we just go on paying for that little bit of disk space that it takes to store those inventories. Um, it's it's easier for us, I mean, let's be real, it's much easier for us not to wipe out accounts than it is to wipe them out. So we don't. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you think you actually have a current example of somebody getting locked out, please tell us about it. If they have are not seriously I, I doing heard, that, should not be happening. I have heard but, concern from residents, though, in the past that the reason they don't want to go premium is because of the fear that they may fall on hard times, be unable to, you know, pay their their premium and end up basically locked out of Second Life. Sell their land and, and downgrade the account. You're fine. That's all there yeah, is to they, it. They can't we won't even reduce you. In. You can get in on the website. Contact support and tell them you'd like to abandon your land. And they'll do it for you. Perhaps. But but that is oh, definitely just I mean, that is, uh, people. That's what they do. It is a thing I've heard from a lot of people why they won't go premium. Well, it's just because of that fear. With with all due respect, they're wrong. That's not what happens. I know that people believe it is what happens, but it is not what happens. I have checked. The people who write that code work for me. I have checked several times. If that happens, it's a bug and we'll fix it. But it's not what's supposed to happen and it's not what normally does happen. So please do what you can to help me get people to believe that because it's really true. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, well, there's that, yeah. Uh, personally, I think I I know I would love to see more people go premium because maybe then you guys could continue lowering land here. Uh, it's been working so far. Yeah. And we intend to keep working it, actually. We want to make premium even better and land even cheaper and other things.
other things that will allow us to make land cheaper. But hopefully we'll we'll have more to say about that in the in the near future. But Kitty has a point. Is there a knowledge yeah. base? There's quite a bit of chat going on here. I'll let you Yeah, yeah just a couple of things scrolled by here. There should be, but I don't have a link to it right off the top of my head. And you guys can probably Google it as well as I can. Um, do, I'm not sure I understand your question, Naran, about something the viewer to directly talk to the server to set up the server-side UI without having to write a script for it so we can have a server-side, client-side AO. That is, can we provide a way to do what an AO does from directly from the viewer? With that script. Uh, we have client-side client AO built in Firestorm, but we would love to be able to interact with uh, you know, in a better way than dropping animations into it, perhaps? Um, I would love to see feature requests that detail how that ought to work. Um, the the yeah I you know the question of whether or not to pay for premium with Linden dollars is a, an involved question believe it or not so um, yeah also the best deal is to pay annually. And then you don't need to worry about paying again for 11 months. Yeah, we'd love to. We'd love to be able to have AOs that don't require any scripts running. Yeah, as Beck says, though, I mean, if you were to look into that, do that at the same time as you're working to render bridge pointless. Yeah. Well, the thing, coffee, about... A whole overhaul of movement is, you know, when you start talking about things like that, then that gets you into the how do we maintain backwards compatibility, and pretty soon you're not doing anything. So we really have to avoid, gee, let's go back in time and fix everything. That's um, that's uh, Jira issue SL-2 is invent a time <laughs> machine so we can go back and fix all our mistakes. It really is in our Jira. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd support so that. We have a lot of we have a lot of things that are that depend on SL two. Oh, the things I would do differently. I, I'm there's only one I would do differently, but I'm going to leave it to you to guess. <laughs> Not going to tell. Um, I am happy to set up technical dev meetings with anybody who has a well-formulated technical subject. Um, I don't want to just say there's a meeting and it happens regularly. 
Um, and we'll do the agenda when we get there. That it doesn't seem to actually work. I actually don't think that open sourcing the viewer code was a mistake. I think the way they open sourced the viewer code was maybe suboptimal. But I disagree. Okay, we're going to have a debate here. I disagree. <laughs> I think it's the best thing they could have done was to open source. And the whole idea behind open sourcing was to get contributions from the community, which I believe they got a lot of, and yep. but they just didn't want to take very much of any of That's, it. Which is... And, and it, it led to... Uh, they didn't manage that. They didn't manage that saying, well. Fine, I like this feature. My friends like this feature, so I'm going to give them my viewer, and and then they shared that viewer with friends. And before you knew it, there was third party viewers, and nothing getting contributed back to Lin and Lamb. Yeah, it's the it's the not contributing back upstream that right. breaks the open source and, model. And that, but that started early, before you. Um, yep. but, yeah. Uh, mind you, it is still rather difficult to contribute things. So at the at the uh, town hall oh, thing you me. mentioned <laughs> and I had to bite I had to sit on my hands but cuz you had mentioned that you know you're not getting contributions back and somebody mentioned the, you know the the radar that was specifically stuff. in the context of the of the yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Linux viewer. Yeah. Uh, it, it but it's difficult like so after that we were looking at you know how can we contribute radar well the problem is we've had so many people so many hands in that code and they don't all have contribution agreements with you and they're no longer some of them even around anymore and yep. so while we'd love to contribute it you guys can't accept it and obviously there's legal reasons i get it but it, it's frustrating when we get users um you know blaming us for not contributing to Linen Lab when it's actually kind of out of our hands as well. Yeah, well... Uh, We'd have to literally rewrite they, the they, thing from scratch by, with I, one of our devs. We don't have any devs. There were, again, in the, in the realm of legal questions I cannot answer or comment on. Yeah. Other than to say... We really, really don't have a choice but to have the kind of contribution agreement structure that we have. And it's just, it's frustrating because we, you know, we do get flack, um, and and I even, you know, share some guilt feeling for not being able to contribute certain things to you. Um, that's, you know, it, it's just we can't do anything about it because we don't have contact with the people who who did that work in the first place much less, you know, contribution agreement. And, of course, one of the reasons third-party viewers thrive, too, is because we don't have, as you don't now at the lab, we don't have, we never had all that red tape you had to cut through just to get something, even to agree to get a particular feature developed. And, um, and uh, so we weren't, you know, restricted by support costs, things like that as well. Yeah, we are. <laughs> well, but you've you've done some stuff we really do like, Naran, so we're gonna make sure we get those things in. We're very excited and, about the poser. And and also please uh, writer your your witness please let us know if there because you know we've got all kinds of stuff in the viewer we don't know what you might want and might not want let us know if there's something that you'd like that we have in firestorm and and you know we'll we'll take a look and see how we can help Yeah, what Beck said. Yep. Oh, yeah. Although that's, like many things, that's kind of bugged in Firestorm. Yeah, we don't like to import things that don't actually do what they <laughs> well, claim to do. Well, it does do most of the time. <laughs> you know what the difference between most of the time and all the time is? Passing QA. 
<laughs> hey, we have a, we have a good QA. We have a very long QA. I mean, we we get our releases out. They have low crash rates and mostly bug free. We're pretty strict on QA, actually. In fact, I, Ansa gets frustrated with me all the time because our QA is too slow. Oh, come on, no rant. Uh, that's 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 <laughs> a, a that's a uh, an occupational d disease of all developers. <laughs> <laughs> Naran's upset with me. Uh, most, you know, every viewer has bugs. Your viewer has bugs. We can't catch everything. We do get regressions occasionally. A lot of the big bugs we we have are long time bugs before we had a proper QA, and now we just overlook those bugs because because they're old years. And we appreciate it, Marley. In fact, some of our bugs are right. We, we when we fix the old ones, people complain. They got used to them. Un unintended features, yeah. Like the Firestorm AO has some unintended, unexpected, once in a while features. Naran, how long is your QA press? Oh, right, you don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, we have, uh, you know, I, I, given the user base that we have using Firestorm, we have to be responsible and not just, you know, compile nightlies and release them to the public. Uh, we've got to be responsible. We've seen what happens to Linux servers when we forget to turn off a, a, a debugging code that does logging, for example. Such a small thing. Uh, display names. Yeah, look at display names. What was it, three weeks before you guys got display names load balanced? We have to be careful. So we have a long QA. Perhaps longer than I'd like, but. No, we don't do smaller releases. Uh, I read your, um, your forum thread the other day. And um, I hear what you say. <laughs> Yeah, I got a I got a kick out of that forum thread. That was fun. Yeah, I uh, I decided not to respond. It it did eventually go the way of most controversial forum threads, unfortunately. <laughs> Yes, this is true. So much for a short meeting. Sorry. It's okay. It's Friday. Nearly the end of the day. Problem. Yeah. <laughs>
All right. Uh, I think we've run out of gas, so. Uh, have a good weekend, folks. Bye, everybody. See you. Maybe. Two weeks. 21st. Yeah, 21st. God, Christmas that close. Uh, thank you, Willie, for reminding me about the meeting. God, I almost forgot it again. Noran, I love you, despite all the things. You too, writer. Okay, I gotta go. Poop.